Like many other Western holidays, the Japanese put their own little spin to it. For Valentine's Day, the idea is that women give their men chocolates. So for on February 14th, guys in Japan are kind of off the hook and get to complain when they don't get their box of chocolates. Another difference for this holiday is that the girl and the guy don't actually have to be romantically involved. When romance isn't involved, this is called giri choko, or something like obligation chocolates. This is when a woman gives chocolate to a male friend or a co-worker or a boss. Depending upon the person, it can be a gift that basically says, Hey, thanks for being my friend. Uh, you're awesome to work with, and I really appreciate it, and you. Or, hey boss, I'm sucking up to you, so when I ask you for a raise in a few days, you might actually give it to me. You get the idea. Normally, these chocolates are store-bought and have a certain level of thought behind it in terms of cost. One doesn't want to go too cheap because that would send the wrong message, nor would they want to buy something too expensive, as the male who receives the gift is obligated to offer a gift in return a month later on White Day. White Day, I'll talk about that on a later episode. Now, for the romantic version of this, or Hanamei Choco, or, you know, true feeling or love chocolate, the emphasis isn't for the guy to dash around town at the last minute to get flowers and candy and choir reservation at the last minute. See, us guys get to sit back and let the ladies do the work for a change. This is the true version of Valentine's Day, where a couple spends a romantic day together, like in America. Dates, chocolates, flowers. Actually, we guys have a little bit of work to do. We have to be kind of appreciative of things. But really, it's up to the ladies on this day, until White Day again. More on that in a later episode. Again, the emphasis is on chocolates. Since we're talking about a Hanmei Choco situation, it's a little bit different even from a romantic point of view. You see, store-bought chocolates just won't do. The woman has to make them to show how really she is into her boyfriend or husband. So in Japan, if you're a guy who has a, who has a wife or a girlfriend who likes to cook and is good at it, it, that's great for you because you're going to get really good tasting chocolates. Uh, if she isn't that good of a cook, well, my suggestion is to eat one, smile, swallow it, and lie at how good it is because otherwise you're just going to be in trouble. <laughs>